Hi, my name is Taylor McCurdy and as you know I'm an instructor at Eco Training and today what we're going to be doing now that we've had a break from the rain is taking a closer look as to what insects occur on all those plants that we've showed you on our Flora Fridays. This is called a water scorpion. We're very lucky to have captured it outside the water moving from one drying up puddle to the next because they spend most of their day submerged. Because they spend so much time underwater, they need a way to breathe. They don't hold their breath, they actually have a long tube at the end of their abdomen, which is like a breathing apparatus or a siphon, and that is able to extract air from above the water while they stay hidden in the murky waters. Water scorpions are not very good swimmers, and they spend most of their time walking along the bottom of the water. They've got very powerful front legs, which they'll use when they ambush their prey. They like to hunt things like fish, frogs and toads, tadpoles, and even mosquito larvae. That's good for you and I. Unfortunately, this water scorpion is having an issue with some mites. Parasites are quite common on mammals, birds, reptiles, including arthropods. These are water mites, and they prefer the hosts of aquatic species. Normally, parasites are not going to be too much of a problem and are very much a part of the life cycle of many species. However, in the case of the water scorpion, I think that they're going to be detrimental to its health. It seems to have had some kind of an infestation. I watched the water scorpion try and dislodge some of the mites, but it was unsuccessful. But this is all a part of the circle of life and such is nature. But it was a privilege to see a water scorpion outside of the water. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the creepies and crawlies that we see out here in the bush, but I'd like to know which ones you'd like to see, whether it's a spider or an insect. Comment below and let us know. As you know, we post videos regularly on YouTube, so please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And we've also got a variety of uh, other social media platforms, so like our Instagram page, our Facebook page, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.